In today's video, I want to share a few dice games that we play as warm-ups before we get into the nitty-gritty of our school day. I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn while playing. So if this is something that you are interested in, make sure to subscribe. One of the easiest dice games to play is Addition War. For that, you'll need at least two dice per player or more if you want to add a few single digits together. The simplest way to keep score here is to keep a tally of which player wins each round. If you're new here, this video is part of our series on game schooling with the basics. This is where I show you how we cover certain topics with a couple of dice number cards and maybe a few handy things you might have lying around at home. Not too different to the first addition war is subtraction war. In this case, with the same two dice, the, the larger number forms the subtrahend and the smaller number forms the minuend. You can determine pre-game if the larger or smaller number at the end of the subtraction wins the round. The next step up would be multiplication war. Again, with the two dice, you multiply both factors to get the product, and the player with the largest product wins the round. Since there can be big differences between the products, one times one and six multiplied by six, for example, we will continue to use tallies to keep score instead. If you want to learn a more interesting version of Multiplication War, here's a multiplication game to have kids apply and analyze the relationships between the factors and the product. Now, players take turns coming up with the largest product using their three dice. To start off, players roll their three dice. So we could add six and four to get 10 and multiply that by two. We could have six add two to get eight and multiply that by four. Or we can have four and two to get six and multiply that by six. So we would get 20, 32 or 36. What I like about this game is that by using three dice in one roll, we can get up to six permutations of equations which kids can work through to come up with the largest product. Make sure to check out the link to the video in the description box below after this video. If you're ready to level up those addition, subtraction skills, then you should try Shut the Box. Each player lays out a set of number cards from 1 to 10. In this game, players use both dice in various arithmetic operations to close out each number. It is even possible to use small number multiplication, like 3 times 3 to get 9 and then close that 9 out. One of our favourite strategic multiplication dice game is actually Blockout. It is like Blockus, the board game, and Multiplication had a baby, and this is what came out of it. To play this game, players take turns rolling two dice and drawing a rectangle on the game board with side lengths given by the two numbers they rolled. This is useful for practicing random multiplication factors up to the number of sides of the die you're using. If you're using a six-sided die, you can practice up to your... We made a detailed video of how to play the blockout game and I will leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out after this video. Thanks for watching. Grab a few dice and I hope you get a chance to try one of these fun dice games soon and I will see you in the next video. Next